And, and when you think of it, all of us are faced periodically with reflecting on our own lives, reflecting on the kinds of things we see around us, and wondering why some things succeed and while others struggle. Do we need to introduce ourselves, or do we just just say where we are and? Okay, when they recorded already. No, I yeah. think we we, we just uh, introduce ourselves. Yeah. Shortly, okay. who we are. Okay. And uh, 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 okay, we are the authors of this book. Yeah. And okay, this is our YouTube, our first broadcast, test broadcast, how it works. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> and when it's recording, this red light is blinking. Yes, sir. Okay. And do you want me to press it off now? Welcome. Uh, my name is Doug Vogel. I'm a professor of information systems uh, at uh, various places in the world. And uh, right now here we're in Mandara in Western Australia. And you might say, where's Mandara? Well, Mandara is south of Perth. It's about 70 kilometers south of Perth, 45 miles. It's a nice seacoast area. And it's an area that's had an amazing transformation over the past 20, 20 years or so from a sleepy fishing village to, you know, kind of an upmarket retirement area with uh, now the second largest city in, in Western Australia. So it's okay, my name is Arthur Lugmeyer. I'm the second or uh, the other editor of this book. I'm associate professor for uh, visualization and digital media and basically like Doug was already telling now <laughs> Matura was transforming and we want to transform also your careers we want to help you we also want to help the postdocs we want also to help uh, the university management to understand what is going on and what is changing and with our open access book I hope we contributed a little bit to your careers as well Hello, I'm Arthur. <laughs> I'm Doug, and uh, we're both uh, professors. Uh, I'm a professor of information systems. And I'm associate professor for visualization and digital media. And we look forward to interacting with you in conjunction with our book. Which you can find downstairs. Here is the link. Uh, here, uh, no, no, uh, here. <laughs> it's our first YouTube video. back again now and uh, we just want to shortly well tell you some of the things that are in the book and encourage you to find some things that are particular use to you so in the first part of the book it's called individual career planning we especially f focus on things which you personally need you know personal skills how to write properly a publication how to write a publication which is showing a, a high amount of uh, citations there are very, very good tips and hints inside for you to advance your career. And one of the chapters is also written from the heart from one of the authors, and it's called about 10 sincere tips for future academics, where he wrote about all his own experiences and what you should do, which guides you should follow, what is good to, uh, uh, what he experienced back in his life. And another thing is about uh, leading by narratives, where you learn a little bit more about how you can use storytelling as part of funding acquisition, how you can lead or inspire people, you know, uh, which are in the academic field, and by uh, by storytelling. And also one uh, uh, one chapter, uh, yeah, 
Okay, so now we come to the second part, which is about academics, institutions as organizations, <laughs> research, culture, leadership and management. And I can tell you, um, we've all had a lot of experience in this years. Uh, over the years, over the past 40 years, I've been involved with multiple institutions in various leadership capacities. And it's fraught with challenges, but the rewards too are many. And the real question in, is what we all have to think about and answer is how do we balance our own lives? And how do we achieve the balance within our own lives of providing the right kind of leadership? Uh, I tend to provide leadership that's more of a family orientation for a research center, but for a university department, it's a bit different. For a university department, you're in situations where you have to make a lot of decisions and, and provide rewards or not, uh, as the case might warrant. And so, depending upon the circumstances, whether you're in a research center or whether you're doing a department or whether you're at a provost level in a university, each of those has its own characteristics each of it has its own demands, but there's a consistent set of things that you can do that as you read through the chapters in this book will help you uh, become better in this regard. And in the third part, we talk about teaching. So we present a few chapters which are about how you can improve your teaching, how teaching especially is done in certain contexts, like one chapter is uh, explaining a new study program as part of journalism. So teaching is an important part of us academics, and it's also a way how we you know, uh, uh, give the knowledge further, and that's one of our major jobs, what we should do as academics. And therefore, it's a very essential chapter to learn uh, how to teach, to learn, how to engage students, because they will be the future academics now. We are already in our chairs, but the other ones still need to be there. So we need to engage them, we need to make them happy, and we need to motivate them to continue. And in the last chapter, that's a little bit a speciality also from Doug, we talk about university ecosystems, where universities <laughs> are between industry, between the society, communities. And, and this is a particularly important area, because universities were founded on the whole basis that they're there to provide community service. Uh, they're there to interact with the community. They're there to provide what the community needs. And this is something we have to be very careful about and be sensitive to the kinds of changes that occur in our communities and the kind of societal impact that we can have uh, aligned with uh, the needs and interests of the community and the organizations within the community. So these are particularly important things and universities have to be very sensitive to uh, these issues. Yeah, then basically we gave you a quick overview of the book. If you want uh, to read a very fast overview, read our introduction chapter. So and it's only 20 pages long. And, and enjoy, enjoy the process of, of going through the book and picking and choosing and, and supporting your own career uh, in what those, whatever areas and the kinds of ways in which uh, you find rewarding. So we look forward to future interactions. So I would say, but I would say just, just keep, just keep rolling, no, no, and then I'll give some summary comments at the end. Uh, I need to find the PDF. Maybe some of you were wondering where the title image came from. You know, we had this nice uh, figure running through the jungle with a little sword, and this title figure came actually. It uh, was a little figure, what from my nephew. And he gave it to me because I wanted to send him pictures with this little figure from all around the world where I'm traveling as a scientist. And we thought it fits very nicely because uh, the picture was taken in the Perth Zoo and we put the figure there and there were these grass leaves and around. And I thought this picture fits very nicely to the book because it shows a little bit the jungle what you or <laughs> what we are as academics all went through during our PhD studies. You know, we did not see 
the, the basically we didn't see the signal tree in front of the wood so this was a little bit the idea also behind this picture so there was a little a history behind this one so, so indeed we hope you become engaged uh, with the book and benefit from the, the chapters that are in there and uh, help your career advance to be the best it can be also in our next broadcast, what you can find is uh, we make some interviews with with the people who made the forward of the uh, of the book. So one will be Professor Ted Zelka, and the other one will be Professor Pete Commerce, and they will also introduce their new ideas. So Pete will be talking about uh, uh, about general, give an overview of the book, what he thinks about the book, and uh, Ted will be talking about a new way of publication. So he developed a new way of publications which he called Pure and we don't talk about this one because you need to read that book chapter before we explain you just this video what it is uh, but he will be talking about a new way of publication and all the ones who thought okay the second reviewer is always wrong you know the one who downgrades your paper he will be talking for a solution for that one. So, uh, what I always tell my PhD students and, and junior faculty is that my job is to help you be the best you can be and frankly, one of the ways we do that is through the kinds of things we publish. And I think you'll find this book very helpful in that regard. <laughs> God. God. That's, that's good. There's good stuff in there. Um, what, what else do we need to do? Should we talk about uh, what is important? That's pretty true. Okay. One, one of the things that's particularly important is that recognizing that this is an open source that you give feedback and you give recognition to the people that are in the book to not only help with their careers but help with yours as well. Yeah, because for us it's very important that all the authors still were sticking with us and going through a very lengthy uh, you know, editing process. So we edited still over four years on this book and we were happy to get it finished and get it also off our table because it was a very hard and lengthy process and therefore we uh, really would like to give us the appreciation for all the authors and contributors of the book and we would like to kindly ask you also give them your appreciation you know cite their book chapters if they were helping you in advancing your career give them a little bit of credit so they were they did it voluntary they put really their knowledge inside they worked for weeks on their chapters polished them worked on our feedback and all this stuff. So if they should have helped you, don't forget, simply cite them and give them a little bit of credit and they see it then on Google Scholars and all the citation streams and they will be happy. And we are happy that we succeeded with the book and could contribute something valuable. Just for the Indeed. email part? Yeah, for the, for just for the links part. Because yeah. And just make a break when I stop talking yeah. because then I can eat easier. Or I can, I can even start and say, and, and here's ways you can get in contact with us. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's. I, I improvise something. Okay. Also, we have an email list. So, if you go to the book web page, you also see an email list. And in YouTube, if you manage to edit it there, you should see the link now downstairs somewhere. And you can subscribe to the email list, and you get some updates and all this stuff. And we're also happy if you send us some feedback or if you send us some, you know, positive feedback or where the book helped you. So what also important is if you have some concerns, if you have some things which we should discuss in the YouTube channel, uh, please let us know because we can get your questions. So this YouTube thing allows all questions and answers and all sorts of kinds of feedback. Give us some feedback what you would like to hear, what we can advance in your career or what we should discuss or with whom we should make interviews. So join in. Be part of the transformation that we're all experiencing and we all look forward to a bright future. Indeed. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>